good morning we are from svs embedded so the project title name is called industrial data acquisition system using ethernet and arm 7 so in this project i was used arm 7 lpc2148 arm controller and two sensors i used one is lm35 and another one is fire and if the temperature is high that cooling fan will be on if the fire is occurred automatically the alarm will be on so i was used two bulbs one is a relay one and relay two so that was connected with the enc 28 j60 ethernet module via spi communication of spi 0 of arm 7 so rj45 jack ethernet that was connected to the computer in my computer so in this in this project first of all i will uh, go for the uh, transformer as per your requirement you use, use your transformers in your country so in uh, in, in india we are using in 230 input uh, step down transformer to uh, 230 volts ac with 50 edges 60 edges sorry uh, so here we use 0 to 9 volts transformer it's a step down transformer giving uh, it is uh, coming in the output is for 1 amp trans 750 milliamp transformer i was taken so you use your uh, specification in your country so here we used one bridge rectifier four diodes so the, the main function of the bridge rectifier is so we have any um, ripples uh, here we are connected to the ac that ac is converted into the pulse rate dc so after that we used one filter capacitor that is 1000 microfarad by 25 volt electrolytic capacitor and I used one, one 7805 regulator that is called LM7805 regulator. It's an 5 volts output. The 5 volts output we are using for the buzzer uh, and the max 232 for the dumping the program. So here I was used another regulator. That regulator is called LM3117 fixed 3.3 volts regulator for the ohm processor. And as well as here we are using the Ethernet module that is also operating with 3.3. So here is an ARM7 LPC2148 ARM controller of SVS Embedded Development Board. So in the development board we used SPA is connected with the Ethernet. So here the entire section is called SPA. It's at 64 pin RC Q-deep quadrupole dual in package line having an uh, each side 16 pins total. Uh, in these uh, po two ports are available port 0 and port 1 port 0 consists of 0 0.0 to 0 0.31 it's in 32 bit port 1.16 to port 1.31 it's in 16 bit it can execute 16 bit architecture as well as 32 bit architecture so in that remaining 16 pins are ground vcc crystal reset isp rtc clock and uh, rtc crystal and the usb here I was used two switches, one is for the ISP and another one is for the reset. When we want to dump the program onto the ARM controller, must and should we have to press the ISP and press and release the reset, the program will be dumped via UART0. Okay. So we used two, two sensors, one is the temperature sensor and another one is the fire sensor. If the temperature is precious temperature sensor minus 55 degree centigrade to 150 degree centigrade here we have we have a created set point that set point is 45 degree if the above 45 degree the fat will be on if the fire is occurred it the buzzer should be on so we use two relays those are the relays are electromagnetic relay here you can connect your contactors and use the ac supply so we used two switch, uh, two transistors those are called the switching diodes so here that entire kit uh, 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 here we are using an enc 28 j60 where we are communicate with spa module so we are going we are taking a lan cable of 1 meter cable and that was connected to my uh, pc i'll show so i was connected the lan cable so it is given a cross mark so first of all we have a properties 
uh, when we when we want to uh, go for the LAN settings here this is an SP service pack 2 operating system it's a basic operating system so this is an uh, network connection it's a local network is uh, unplugged so you have to give the properties in that properties I was given by a 190 uh, TCP IP socket so in that I was given a 192.168.1.104.258.258.0 and subnet there is no available go for the ok then ok then close all close all go for internet explorer ok go for internet explorer ok you will get this link so uh, so when I powered up that uh, socket so when I powered up the power is on after that LED should also on so I want to give the so uh, input I was uh, given by the in my kit uh, it is called 192 192.168. 1.103 okay now nah? it is giving like sensors and controls when when I was when I was giving the sensors the present temperature is 28 degree there is no fire occurred so now I am going to give some some input from external taking from matchbox so I am taking the external input from this one so I want to give no fire it will give give no fire so I am taking a dupe stick when uh, the dupe stick is in, uh, upon the temperature sensor we have to see that above 45 degree that engine should be on if below 45 degree below 40 that uh, fan should be off so when I want to on the relay see that I want to go for the relay observe that sound save sound on the relay uh, control units and I press that appliances one that appliances one is on click appliance two is on off off so you observe the conductor so here also we are given that on on we can go for the home ok like that we can connect more number of the sensors on the ethernet uh, in the in this board and we can get the accurate output on my uh, PC so thanking you if there is any doubt let me know to SVS embedded